In this video, we will learn what is kidney disease, what is the treatment and use of home remedies. If you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Kidney disease can affect your body's ability to clean your blood and help control your blood pressure. It can also affect red blood cell production and vitamin D metabolism needed for bone health. We're born with two kidneys. They're on either side of your spine, just above your waist. When your kidneys are damaged, waste products and fluid can build up in your body. That can cause swelling in your ankles, nausea, weakness, poor sleep and shortness of breath. Without treatment, the damage can get worse and your kidneys may eventually stop working. That can be life-threatening. You may notice one or more of the following symptoms if your kidneys are beginning to fail. Itching, muscle cramps, nausea and vomiting, not feeling hungry, swelling in your feet and ankles, too much urine, pee or not enough urine, trouble catching your breath, trouble sleeping. You might also need specific tests and procedures to determine how severe your kidney disease is. These tests might include urine tests. This test is done to see blood or protein in your urine. Your kidneys make your urine. If you have blood or protein in your urine, it may signify that your kidneys are not working well. Your doctor may ask you for a sample of your urine in the clinic or ask you to collect your urine at home and bring it to your appointment. Imaging tests. Your doctor might use ultrasound to assess your kidney structure and size. Other imaging tests might be used in some cases. Biopsy. Removing a sample of kidney tissue for testing. Your doctor might recommend a kidney biopsy, which involves removing a piece of kidney tissue. Kidney biopsy is often done with local anesthesia, using a long, thin needle that's inserted through your skin and into your kidney. The biopsy sample is sent to a lab for testing to help determine what's causing your kidney problem. Blood tests. Kidney function tests look for the level of waste products such as creatinine and urea in your blood. EGFR, estimated glomular filtration rate, is a sign of how well your kidneys clean your blood. Your body makes waste all the time. This waste goes into your blood. Healthy kidneys take the waste out of your blood. One type of waste is called creatinine. If you have too much creatinine in your blood, it might be a sign that your kidneys are having trouble filtering your blood. You will have a blood test to determine how much creatinine is in your blood. Your doctor will use this information to figure out your EGFR. If your EGFR is less than 60 for three months or more, you might have kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is divided into five stages. The stages are based on the EGFR test result and how well your kidneys filter waste and extra fluid out of your blood. As the stages go up, kidney disease gets worse and your kidneys do not work as well. At each stage, it is essential to take steps to slow down the damage to your kidneys. Stage 1, EGFR 90 or greater. Stage 2, EGFR between 60 or 89. Stage 3, EGFR between 30 or 59. Stage 4, EGFR between 15 or 29. Stage 5, EGFR less than 15. Some people prefer to treat medical conditions with home remedies or alternative remedies. 1. Drinking lots of water can help flush bacteria from the body helping eliminate the infection faster. It can also help clear out the entire urinary system. 2. Drink cranberry juice. Cranberry juice has long been used to remedy urinary tract infection or UTIs and bladder infections. There's some evidence that drinking cranberry juice may help prevent urinary tract infection in some people. 3. Avoid alcohol and coffee. The kidney's most important role is to filter out harmful substances and toxins, and both alcohol and caffeine can require extra work from the kidneys. 4. Take probiotics to have two big benefits for treating kidney infections. The first is that they'll help keep your body's healthy bacteria in check, even though the antibiotics may get rid of both good and bad bacteria. 5. 
consume apples and apple juice. Their high acid content may help the kidneys maintain acidity in the urine, possibly inhibiting the further growth of bacteria. 6. Berries, which include strawberries, blueberries and raspberries, are a great source of many helpful nutrients and antioxidant compounds. These may help protect the cells in the body from damage. 7. Cabbage is a leafy vegetable that may benefit people with CKD or chronic kidney disease. It is relatively low in potassium and very low in sodium, yet it also contains many valuable compounds and vitamins. 8. Red bell peppers. In addition to being very low in minerals such as sodium and potassium, red bell peppers contain beneficial antioxidant compounds, which may protect the cells from damage. 9. Garlic is an excellent seasoning choice for people with CKD. It can give other foods a more satisfying full flavour, reducing the need for extra salt. Garlic also offers a range of health benefits. 10. Cauliflower is a versatile vegetable for people with CKD. The proper preparation makes a good replacement for foods such as rice, mashed potatoes and even pizza crust. Cauliflower also contains a range of nutrients without providing too much sodium, potassium or phosphorus. Medicines to avoid. If your kidneys don't work well, check with your doctor before taking any medications, including over-the-counter drugs, medicines you can get without a prescription. Your doctor may tell you to avoid inevitable pain relievers such as aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, Aleve and Celecoxib, Celebrex. These drugs, which doctors call NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, could play a role in kidney disease. If you take a type of heartburn drug called a proton pump inhibitor, PPI, you may also want to know that some studies show a link between those medicines and chronic kidney disease. Your doctor may want to check on whether you need these medicines or if a different dosage or something else might work better for you. Treatment for end-stage kidney disease If your kidneys can't keep up with waste and fluid clearance on their own and you develop complete or near-complete kidney failure, you have end-stage kidney disease. At that point, you need dialysis or a kidney transplant. Dialysis artificially removes waste products and extra fluid from your body when your kidneys can no longer do this. In hemodialysis, a machine filters waste and excess fluids from your blood. A thin tube inserted into your abdomen fills your abdominal cavity with a dialysis solution that absorbs waste and excess fluids in peritoneal dialysis. After a time, the dialysis solution drains from your body, carrying the waste with it. Kidney transplant involves surgically placing a healthy kidney from a donor into your body. Transplanted kidneys can come from deceased or living donors. After a transplant, you'll need to take medications for the rest of your life to keep your body from rejecting the new organ. You don't need to be on dialysis to have a kidney transplant. Depending on your situation, kidney function and overall health, dietary recommendations might include the following. Avoid products with added salt. Lower the sodium you eat each day by avoiding products with added salt, including many convenience foods, such as frozen dinners, canned soups and fast foods. Other foods with added salt include salty snack foods, canned vegetables and processed meats and cheeses. Choose lower potassium foods. High potassium foods include bananas, oranges, potatoes, spinach and tomatoes. Low potassium foods include apples, cabbage, carrots, green beans, grapes and strawberries. Be aware that many salt substitutes contain potassium, so you generally should avoid them if you have kidney failure. Limit the amount of protein you eat. Your registered dietitian will estimate how many grams of protein you need each day and make recommendations based on that amount. High-protein foods include lean meats, eggs, milk, cheese and beans. Low-protein foods include vegetables, fruits, bread and cereals. A healthy diet low in sodium, processed meats and other kidney-damaging foods may help reduce the risk of kidney damage. Focus on eating fresh ingredients that are naturally low in sodium, such as cauliflower, blueberries, whole grains and more. 
If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.